vlog one was good welcome back to my channel if you're watching for the very first time my name is stacia and i go by namaste on instagram so if you're interested in keeping up with my day-to-day -day life check me out over there on the gram i'll leave my instagram handle on the screen or in the description box below if you are an og you know i got mad love for you and i know i've been away for a month now i've just been getting my life together honestly and i needed to do that with the cameras down the camera i only have one camera the camera down so i've just been living honestly and you know i'm back with a little life update and we're going to also be doing a little vlog it is tuesday and i have a holiday it's a holiday public holiday here in japan so i thought you know this is the perfect time for me to pick up the lens i've actually been excited for this excited is that a word where am i with my english i've been excited for this day i have been looking forward to picking up the camera editing and putting on content for you guys again hopefully you guys feel the same way if you're watching this so a few things so your girl is now an adult elite now there is there are different levels to adulting let's just put it out there i just want you all to know that i upgraded myself yes so i recently got an air fryer and i did a little you know upgrade of my apartment i'm going to be doing a b-roll of that right now so you guys can see what i'm talking about so i recently got a few items nothing major but it does make a huge difference to me in my space i don't have a lot of space so everything that's within the space does matter so i upgraded my space and like i said you will see i got a cupboard from the second hand store as well as got i got myself a air fryer which i have not been using as much as i want to but trust me let me tell you girl girl you need an air fryer an air fryer is like next level especially for someone like me who cooks often it comes in super handy you just put it in the air fryer put the timer on go about your business but for the most part i have not been doing a lot of cooking with it but i plan on getting that sorted out so that's that the second thing is i got some zara fragrances i wanted to share with you guys now if you follow me on instagram you would have been introduced to uh, these perfumes already i didn't go in depth with the the perfumes that i have i just showed maybe like two pictures on my story and that started a whole discussion in my dms so i'm like let me do a little you know haul for you guys in this vlog so that those who may not be able to afford like the higher end perfumes you can have that luxury smell for the low low you know what i mean so in my current collection i do have like four perfumes here so i have two of these sizes here I have the rose gourmand and as you can see it has been in use hold on because I don't want to let this fall. I have the rose gourmand and like like as you can see she has been used she has been used so this is like my everyday fragrance that I wear I've gotten so many compliments on this and I have a friend who has been asking me for so long, what am I wearing? Um, hopefully he's watching this video. This is what I have been wearing, the one that you really, really like. And if you know anything about Japan, if your students are giving you compliments on your fragrance, your smell, you're doing something right. So I've gotten a lot of compliments on this. And as you can see, I'm a heavy sprayer because I feel like if I'm smelling good if i spend my money to smell good you should smell me okay you should smell me so i think this is perfect for the autumn season it has notes of vanilla and of course i'm no connoisseur when it comes on to perfumes or anything like that but i will leave the link to a youtuber who i really really trust she's a small youtuber but she has that really good perfume reviews i think and she actually convinced me to buy this without even smelling it so you know you're doing a good job if you can convince somebody to to make a blind purchase at first i didn't love it but then it grew on me like once it settled i was like yeah this is it this is it and i've gotten a ton of compliment on this like i've said i do believe it's a dupe for something but i'm not sure what it is like i said i'm not a connoisseur when it comes down to perfume so you can't quote me on on that on what it's a dupe for but if you search you will find what it's a dupe for so this is like 35 dollars us i think which is like inexpensive for 80 a 80 milliliter bottle and i already bought a replacement for it so i'm not worried about this at all all right so 
in that um along with the rose gourmand i got the zara gardenia now if you have the ysl black opium black opium black orchid i do have it it's a dupe for it and i can see that as someone who has the black the the, the perfume so it does have that that rich smell it smells really really girly it smells it has that vanilla uh, it really does smell like the black opium guys if you don't want to spend a lot of money on getting the ysl perfume you should definitely get the gardenia it it's everything it smells really good i think this size is for i paid like 15 dollars maybe one 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 thousand three hundred yen for this one they're about it's under two thousand yen i'm i'm sure so it's under 20 us dollars i'm sure so this is really really nice this i will say i don't use as often because it's smaller as you can see but i do use it when i'm in the house and i want to smell good i use it like a body mist especially when i'm going to bed i like to smell good so this is what i use so this is a, the this is the zara gardenia if you're interested in purchasing something like this all right so the other day i posted this on my instagram story it's black decade now i've been wanting to buy the ysl libre but i just don't i just don't know if i'm ready to fork out that kind of money and coincidentally i saw the review from the same youtuber again this is hard to find in stores so i had to just again take her word for it and i'm glad i did because baby i wore this yesterday oh my god oh my god i wore this yesterday at work and the projection on this the longevity on this it is fabulous like if you want to smell like a bad bitch rich auntie you know bad and bougie on a budget this is what you need this is what you need right here baby girl golden decade i actually went on zara to see if i could repurchase this because i know i'm going to run through this i know me i know i'm going to run through this this is what i'm going to be wearing today and i just know and i went on there to repurchase it's already sold out and it's only in one store that isn't close to me one store I, i'd have to travel like a hour and a half to get this but I, I know I'm going to re, I'm going to buy two of these the next time they are in stock online. If you don't get nothing from this haul right here, go Lendecade. Go Lendecade. It is top tier. It smell good. It bad. It bad. It bad bad bad. Oh my god. Anyways, moving on to the last one. So I got this one here which is gourmand addict i don't know if you guys remember i did a vlog a long time ago right now because i've been away for a month and i did smell this in store it's not bad i don't know i guess i'm comparing it smells so good let me take that back it smells so good oh my god this smells so good i think i have a really good collection of zara perfumes right now i do want to try the ebony wood that is highly revered amongst the the whole zara collection but this be hitting this is good this is really really good like i said i'm not good at telling you notes and all of this but my final review this bad this bad too but if i were oh my god that nice nice bad but anyways guys i need to wrap up this portion of the video this is not sponsored in any way shape or form i just i just want to share um, the collection that i have i know that people there are people who want to get into fragrance but don't always know how or what to get if you're looking to get into perfumes that are on the low end you know budget friendly but smell good you not necessarily dupes but if you're into dupes too these are like really really good i like i said out of the four i recommend this and i do recommend 
rose gourmand over gourmand addict i think if i'm not mistaken this is an old order toilet and the rose gourmand is an older perfume so is this so the rose gourmand and this one they last all day this one it's a banger this is what i'm wearing today this is what i'm wearing today but yeah that those are the perfumes that i've gotten from zara anyways we are going to go to tokyo we were i was supposed to go to the ramen museum but i woke up and I had a big breakfast <sighs> so we're going to have to postpone that so i'm going to go into shibuya i need to do some shopping and i wanted to stop by the jamaican restaurant for dinner hopefully if i'm if I'm not full, then I'll have their I'll take home. But that's what we're going to do today. And maybe people watch a little bit. Hopefully I can stumble upon some friends there. Enough rambling, let's go. So I made it to Shibuya and I'm on my way to the H&M store to do some shopping. It's been a while since I've been in Shibuya and um, yeah, I should put my mask on, right? But yeah, I'll see you guys when I get inside the store. the fitting room at Zara by the way I left H&M and I got a few goodies but I wanted to try on some shoes um, because they're gonna be having Black Friday sale and I wanted to see what size works for me before I order them online because I know it's gonna be crazy so yeah I'm going to so I'm gonna try on these shoes right now and then let y'all know if it fits so these are meant to be a US size 9 and then typically a size 9 and um, it's a no for you girl it's just not gonna work my feet can barely go inside with the socks on and if it can't go on with the socks on it's not gonna work it's definitely not going to work so I have to go two sizes up I think in order for this to fit me all right guys so I just left Zara and I'm trying to find the second street why is my camera automatically zooming in like who, who did that so I'm trying to find a second street that is close by. It's pretty busy today, like everybody's outside. So I'm trying to vlog at the same time as walk without bumping into people. And that's kind of hard. But well, let's see.
Okay guys, so I'm in the dressing room of Second Street. Apparently, they're having 25 20 percent off everything on store. So I this is why I don't like wearing masks because whenever I do, especially when I'm wearing makeup, like my nose gets running and it is a hot mess. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So they're having 20% off. And I don't think I showed you guys my outfit. First of all, it's very simple today. I got this from a second street actually. And um, this top is from H&M or Princess the Thing. I don't remember. The shoe is from Shein. The socks is from Daiso. I picked up three things that I'm going to try on right now. And if they all fit, they're coming home with me. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all in a bit. Let me put them on first. All right, so the first thing does not fit. Initially, when I saw it, I thought it would fit. So it's this pleather pants here. And it can't go over. It barely went over my hips. And um, it doesn't close at all. Initially, though, when I looked at it on the rack, I thought it would fit because I'm like you know I'm not fat or thick or anything I'm like skinny so it doesn't fit I'm sad is a no Y'all, I'm excited oh I'm excited oh I'm excited y'all don't even know hopefully they can't hear me out there because that'd be embarrassing anyways so this is the second one this is a second hand jacket from GU and I hope y'all see the price tag you see that $900 thank you ma'am it comes with two pockets here two functional pockets here it has a detachable hoodie at the back can y'all see the detachable hoodie at the back and uh, zippers and these here are to there's a flap here to cover the zipper if you don't want that detail on display and what i love about this jacket is the fact that it has the things here to cinch in the waist this is fire for 900 yen it's coming home with me today 20 percent off baby we gonna we gonna be slain in this street on a budget that's that's all that's all Let's try the other jacket and if it fits, you know what, what time it is. Let's try it. All right. So, I don't know why I'm, I'm singing. I'm, I'm in a good mood right now, y'all, because I've been getting some, some nice looks. <laughs> this is giving rich auntie vibes. This is giving bitch make an appointment to speak to me. This is giving <laughs> watch your tone when you're talking to me. It's giving everything it's supposed to give. It's giving you know I'm a bad bitch <laughs> but you wouldn't know that I'm a but I'm on a budget like what? So this here is a fur jacket. You know you guys if you're in a winter country like Japan you need a good fur jacket and this is that for me. So it comes with buttons I'm not particularly fond of it having buttons. I would prefer if it didn't have like a color and the button detail, but we're gonna work with it because it's gonna be roughly 1600 yen after they add the 20% off. It also comes with pockets, very important in this country in this season of winter. So it fits. This is what it looks like from the back, from the front yo i'm so happy i came out of the house today like talk to me nice now wanna talk to me talk to me in the comments what do y'all think about these two codes let me know because i want to hear from y'all this is i'm so proud of myself all right, so i just finished all my shopping for today so i'm going to go by goodwood i'm not hungry but i'm gonna be hungry later so i'm going to get some takeout some jerk chicken and festival so I'm headed here now it's been a while since I've been there Ooh. hopefully they remember me hopefully not that it means anything but it'd be nice to remember to be remembered ciao so, I'm out of breath Hello. 
Oh ah. no, oh, no, take out menu. Do you sell this? Uh, do you sell this here? No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, first of all, how many? Three pieces. Okay. Um, can I have a double chicken and a fifth of all? Okay guys, so I just got my food and I'm going to head home. Hopefully this was a good vlog. It's nice to be back on YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.